No boom? No boom. No boom today. Boom tomorrow. There's always a boom tomorrow. Mimbori vessel coming through. A war cruiser. Never thought I'd see one of those again. Stay in formation. Make my feet up. Oh my god. It's a trap, Mitchell! I got a blue shot. I can take him. I can take him. Strike off! I'm hit! Ejected! Ah! Commander, we've just finished a security scan. The Minbari's coming in with her gun ports open. She's armed for a fight. Minbari vessel still closing with gun ports open. It's only a symbol to show they carry the body of a great warrior leader. You know, Jeff, I can't believe you're really going to attend this ceremony. I mean, this Brahma guy planned and led the attack on the line. I know. He commanded one of the ships that splashed my team, but the war is over. At least that's what I keep telling myself. It is a worthy thing to honor the Shai Halit. Warrior. Leader, the hero of the line, he fought with honor, bravery, and with vision. Now, he belongs to the ages. Where is the Shai Alit? What? To lose the vessel of his soul will bring his clan's fury upon you. Are you threatening to make war over this? That is how the last one started, with the murder of Dukat. That was a tragic accident. And if this is another such accident... Before he became a warrior of the Star Riders clan, Premier was a high priest of the religious caste. I've heard it was the religious caste who issued the surrender order. Branmer agreed? He obeyed. But there are still warriors who resent it. One of the war leaders, Sinaville, committed suicide rather than give the order to surrender. And Nerun? <sighs> Nerun is also a star rider. He would have died for Branmer. Stomach contents! Branmer's body must be found. Commander, there's something you have to know. Commander, she knows who took that Mimbari body. Shipping something home, Ambassador? Just some personal possessions. Quite a trick. Stealing Branmer's body and cremating it without anyone noticing it. As a member of the religious caste, I felt an obligation to Branmer. As I told you, he was a reluctant hero. He only became a war leader because he felt it was necessary for the sake of the Mimbari people. He told me that when he was called, he wanted only a simple funeral. He did not want to be a monument to war. His ashes are to be sent home. They will be scattered in space, near our world. You had no right to touch the Shia Elite's body. He was warrior cast by right of his father. And religious cast by right of his mother. You know which takes precedence. Star Riders will protest this. I will lead the fight myself. You will do nothing. You ignored his request to be cremated and have his ashes scattered in space. You disobeyed not only your own war leader, but one of the greatest of our religious caste. You showed great disrespect. I speak for the entire Grey Council. I'd hope to avoid this conversation. You will support my statement that his body was transformed. That is a direct order from the Grey Council. There was no cause for me to attack you, Commander. Even less cause for me to threaten this station. I am ashamed to admit that my feelings for the Shire Elite led me to act improperly. There is no higher testimony to a warrior's courage and skill than praise from his enemy. I would like to send that message to your home world in a personal message, a testimony to the Shia Elite. That is a great kindness. We fought long enough. Maybe it's time we started talking with one another.
Let the warrior caste praise his courage in war. And let the rest praise him for what he truly was. A man of peace. You talk like a Minbari, Commander. Perhaps there was some small wisdom in letting all species survive. We like to think so. There was one other thing. A word. Chrysalis. Chrysalis.